if you get hit by a move, like as soon as you get put in hit stun, you can cancel it with your neutral air. That's a, a tactic that a lot of players used to used to do in melee or still do now is like they keep their rumble on so they can feel when they get hit by an attack. So as soon as that hit stun is you know put on them, they can cancel it with their neutral air. Alright, so swag train versus Sago. Uh, I, I think, think this is losers. These two have definitely yep. played before. I don't know about the Luigi Mennonite matchup though. No, I don't think Swag Crane has seen this Luigi before. Sago used to use his Luigi a lot more in the pocket, but it looks like he's he's starting to bring him out as a dual main now to cover a lot of uh, matchups that Snake. Maybe not bad matchups for Snake, but definitely not favorable. Ooh, Sago. Yeah, I mean the the more rush downy, high pressure characters that Snake has trouble with. Yeah, I guess it, it's funny that he chose Luigi because Luigi is kind of the exact opposite, where he gets most of his conversions on punishing over pressure. Yeah, and um, like one he's thing... He's just basically a sponge. One thing that uh, Luigi does not benefit from, that Snake definitely would have, is his, his susceptibility to being edge guarded. And it looks like uh, Swag is not having much issue keeping uh, Sago up in the air here. Like I thought beforehand with uh, Luigi's, you know, aer aerial prowess. Nice sweet spot there by Sago. Luigi's side would be actually pretty difficult to sweet spot for some reason. I'm not even sure that you actually can sweet spot it. I mean, it's more just a matter of getting you the finish edge that leg. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's it's tough, definitely. Uh, very unlike Pikachu's. Pikachu's quite easy to sweet spot. Mm. Let's drop forward there. See how much Swag Train pays for that. Sago taunting, trying to get inside of his head here. Really, really nice. I guess, what else can you do when yeah, you're right? three? Saga wave dashing back and forth, trying to spot dodge, but unfortunately, gets hit by the grab down throw. Not by the dimension cape, though, luckily. Ooh. Oh, the jump really went down. Nice. Yep. Yeah, see this? The neutral yeah, air. Yeah, this doesn't look fun for Luigi either. The He's sword really doesn't give him a lot of. Uh, room to get in. No, the what I was talking about with the neutral air did not seem to help him at all. You know, the... And, uh, well, you know how Luigi can kind of get an upper hand on a lot of characters just because of how long he stays in the air when he jumps. You know, how many, a like, lot of characters aren't ready to deal with that. Like, they're ready to throw out a move and then the characters land it again, so they're covering other space, but Luigi just can, uh, can kind of still be there, you know, and keep yeah. pressuring you by, after you try to throw out a move to get him out of there. Oh, what but is this, like, lag? Meta Knight can compete with him. Yeah. I spoke uh, for so long that we're seeing a different matchup now. It's Snake versus Metal It's very unorthodox too, because like Luigi is like the character who like will jump and like put three or four aerials out in a yeah. full hop. Like, Whereas Meta Knight can basically do the same thing with yeah, a sword. But multiple jumps, yeah. Sorry for this uh you know little frame issues we got going on here. Hopefully it yeah, sorts this is itself strange. out. But Dropping either way we see right we see Swag Train get nailed in the face by the C4 there. Really, really nice by uh Sago. See if we can hold on to this stock here. 80% on Yoshi's is definitely death percent, even for Snake. Ooh, really nice. Uh, Ooh. Covering, covering that missed tech with the back air there with Sago. Swag Train coming back onto the stage easily, though. Safely, I should say. And that's going to do it. Here on Yoshi's story. Not really much opportunity to DI. Pull your C4 and blow yourself up like uh, you see Snake do. Ooh, wow. Is that Phantom, oh. dude? That looked like Phantom, dude. I don't, I don't know if it was just our frames kind of being choppy where I didn't see it. Well, it's those janky Brawl Snake Cake boxes. Yeah, dude. Snake's, Snake's axe kick's so good. So good. Yeah, trying to go for that Dimension Cape, but Snake being a little heavy. I don't know if it was the DI that was the reason why I couldn't get it, or... Uh, no, it just started being choppy here on Yoshi's. Yeah, just this match. And it's fixed. Yeah, we did a, I think, it's like a refresh or something, change scenes and put it back, but thankfully it's fixed. So anyway, we got 80% here for battle. Swag Train. Sago covering below the platform, making Swag Train come to him. Now, is he stuck? I haven't been keeping track. No, he's not stuck. Well, didn't matter. Yeah. Um, that was really, really good by Sago there. When uh, Swag Train was coming back to the stage, he planted the mine underneath the platform and then just jumped on top. He's like, you're not going to go down there, obviously. You have to come up here and fight me. And uh, Snake so strong on those platforms, like has a lot of moves that with the uh, knockdown, setting up for tech reads, and his back air totally horizontal. He can do like a platform drop back air, very very strong. And so it looks like he's gonna stick with the snake here. Definitely worked on that past uh, past game as we saw, but 
This is an interesting use of the C4. Yeah, he uh, he missed the stick, so he wanted to reset it yeah, right away. Just he, to, uh, I mean, he made the most of it. Yeah, actually got it to connect. Like a lot there. of a lot of snakes. I mean, it's kind of typical to just blow it up well, right away and move just, on. Yeah, you know, doesn't matter, but he made it work. A snake, you never want to have your C4, or not never, but like it's very very uh, little amount of times you want to have your C4 on the floor as an actual trap. Because yeah, it, it, I, there are some interesting things you can do with it, though. Yeah, like, there uh, are there are times you can do. Using, it. I've seen you Professor can use Pro. the C4 to uh, set off the down smash mine. Yep. So. Like and because the explosion in Down Smash Mine is actually larger than the uh, range at which it gets tripped off, you can explode the C4 to explode the mine without them even yeah. being in the mine's range and, to, well, to when trip they it are, off yeah. themselves. Yeah. Yeah. There, there are definitely uses for the C4 for that, but um, you know the really, really nice uh, DI and then tech there by Sago. He's got that thing to down to a science. As uh, many of the top snake snake mains we see now, Rolex, and Professor Pro, you know, notably. Know, the masters of that but uh the c4 definitely benefits snake a lot more when you can get uh reads to get sticks like you just got there yeah. or uses a recovery uh a recovery opportunity so if you get stuck with it set on the stage and you're sent off stage without like your up like not enough space shit out of luck or poop out of luck sorry guys we esports now <laughs> psycho trying to do that uh backwards walk with the d-pad and forward throw but Ooh, Swag train mashing guard. out in time. He was, yeah, he was stuck. Yeah, Meta Knight very, very light, and his fast falling status, you know, tends to protect people from dying off the top. But Meta Knight's not really a fast faller. He's he, yeah, he's pseudo fast faller, he's so he's in the middle, susceptible to dying from the C4 yeah. a little bit earlier than uh, Wolf per se. You, know, uh, you probably heard this, but he's lighter than Kirby. Yeah, he is. You know, he's Kirby wearing a bunch of metal. That's actually the, one of the reasons why he was uh, so susceptible to the Ice Climbers, Chain Grab, and Brawl. I don't know how much his weight was changed from them too, but I remember he was one of the later ones. Ooh, really nice to get the, uh, the Dimensional Cape follow-up out of that down, down throw there. It looks like it's just percentage-based, like the uh, DI away, obviously, but... We are very, very tied right here in Game 3. Like, this, this is like, you know, winner-take-all right now, do or die. Oh Ooh. no! Missed right amount of jumps. He definitely thought he had one more jump right there. So actually, really, really good performance.